गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास हाउ आर यू आई होप ऑल आर वेल सो इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोन टीच यू बायोलॉजी दैट इज अ सेल डिविशन बाय माइटोसिस सो बिफोर स्टार्ट माई क्लास प्लीज मेक श्योर सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड टर्न ऑन नोटिफिकेशन देन यू कैन फाइंड न्यू वीडियो वन एवर आई एम अपलोडिंग एंड डू थिंक दिस वीडियो इज हेल्पफुल फॉर यू प्लीज गिव इथ हाउस अप एंड शेयर विद फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो हेयर इज यू नो दैट इज अ सेल डिविशन दैट इज बाय माइटोसिस दैट इज फोर four stage how many stage here four stage number one that is prophase number one that is prophase number two that is metaphase and telophase that is number three and last that is anaphase so first i'm starting here prophase so when cell is ready to divide that is long thin double chain is called chromosome this is a chromosome so chromosome that is appear in nucleus and what the function of chromosome uh, or i can say how they work so well chromosomes contains chemicals so chemicals that is uh, that is control what a cell does and these chemicals also contain all the instructions needed to build a whole new organism from a single fertilized egg cells what is this that is single fertilized egg cell and chromosomes start to appear as the chromatin coils up so here is a chromatin coils up and become shorter and thicker and they are thick enough to become visible when stained nuclear envelope disappear and nuclear envelope disappear this is a nuclear envelope this one all right so is nuclear envelope disappear and nucleolus disappear chromosomes are seen to consist of two identical chromatids each chromatid contains a uh, one dna molecule how many dna molecule that is one dna molecule so what happened then well, what is the difference between chromatids and chromatins so chromatids are that is the Uh, two identical part of chromosome how many identical part of chromosome two identical part of chromosome that is held together by con that is the centromere formed during the interface by the replication of the dna strand so another that is chromatin chromatin that is a loosely coil form a chromosome during interface of the cell cycle chromatin is need that is made of dna and protein what's that that is dna and protein i'm going to ask you one question that is why chromosomes appear here double chairs here is a double chairs why what's the reason so reason because that is the just made exact copies of themselves and these copies are still uh, attached to each other all right and next step that is metaphase so metaphase that is the each centrosomes reaches a pool so this is a pool guys this one and here is a spindle you see this is a fiber fiber spindle fiber so uh, chromosomes help to organize and production of the spindle microtubules chromosome that is the line up so chromosome here is a line up this is a line up they are attached by their centromeres to the spindle next one that is telophase so telophase that is the nuclear envelope reformed here is a nuclear envelope reformed that is the difference between metaphase and telophase here is a reformed what is reformed that is nuclear envelope and chromatids have reached the pools of the spindle and they will have uncoil again and the nucleolus reforming nucleolus reforming here nucleolus here this is like this is just going ready to reform but anaphase is still this is a finally they are formed so they will now recoil and spindle and again a nucleolus are reforming and remain the spindle which are breaking down so here there is a ready to breaking down all right so cytokinesis this, this is the division of the cytoplasm and cell into two cell, that is the by constituent constriction from the age of the cell next one that is anaphase so chromatids move to opposite poles and chromat that is the 
uh, centromeres first pulled by the microtubules and two daughter cell. How many daughter cell here? Two daughter cells and have exact as the parent cell. So this is a parent cell and this is a daughter cell. So they are exact copies of the of those in the parent cells. In the scientific term, they are said to be that is the genetically identical to the parent cells. So guys, I hope that's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you soon with another new video. And go through your textbook. There is an exercise you need to practice. You need to do it alone. If not, so I'm here to help you. If you need any help, so leave a comments. So guys, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you soon with another new video. And good luck your biology test. Thank you so much.